guys so here we are I started off with the uh, the cable machine flies and today was a high volume day so I did four sets of everything 15 to 20 reps so if you see here when I'm doing uh, the fly machine I like to keep my elbows up and when we come all the way up I like to contract the chest just to get a good squeeze and starting off with the cable fly machine is a good way to warm up your chest and get that mind and muscle connection in place all right so now that we are nice and warmed up from the fly machine we moved into incline dumbbell presses and here <clears throat> I prop my feet up sometimes but I think I put them back down so here what I like to do is uh, when I'm doing incline presses is I like to come on the outer part of my pec to ensure that I'm stretching it all the way down and I just press all the way up now I have two variations when I do them so I either press them straight up or I come uh, or and I bring them together and leave it about two inches apart but today since it's a high volume day I was just pressing them out so here's just a different angle to show you guys uh, what I like to do for my elbows I like to keep them parallel to the ground uh, this allows me to contract my upper chest better and make sure that when you are doing presses that you're pushing you're pressing through your elbows and not through your hands by doing that it, it allows you to uh, really contract the fibers in your chest muscles to help contract them better and you get a really good nice pump all right so the third exercise we move into decline barbell presses so uh, so what I like to do every week is I like to change up the uh, order of my exercises so last week I had started with um, flat dumbbell presses so this week today um, I started off with incline dumbbell presses and uh, for me I just like to do that just to kind of switch things up and um, you know because sometimes we kind of fall in the same routine of doing things and what we want to do is we always want to make sure we're confusing the muscle and also just kind of you know it allows us to uh, kind of make sure that we're mentally in there instead of just kind of you know going with the flow so I actually really like this exercise here uh, I don't know what to call them but this has really helped um, start building my my upper chest which is you know the part of my chest which I'm really really lagging on so after I did those single I don't know single machine presses uh, I went ahead and did these back to back um, just to get some more blood pumping into my chest since it was a high volume day I did a lot of exercises today so the following exercise after those two we did the uh, the incline um, seated cable uh, cable flies uh, I like to put the little stepper if you see because it kind of gives my, um, it allows my, it gives me a better angle, especially when I'm doing the uh, incline fly. So for here, I like to keep my elbows up and come high because I'm really trying to focus on the, the upper part of my of my upper chest because that's what I'm really trying to um, have issues with. So I was actually had some time left, so I ended off with, uh, you know, I burnt out on some dumbbell presses. I think I did like. 12 to 15 I did four reps and um, yeah I had a really good workout today uh, good variations on the exercises high volume just to change it up and that is all guys hope you enjoy what's going on what's going on all right so I just got home from the gym I had a really good workout today today was a high volume day uh, everything was around 45 sets, 12 to 15 reps, and I kept my uh, <clears throat> my rest period short just to go ahead and uh, get some extra calories burned. And I'm limited on my time today, so I'm working from home today. Um, I'm actually logging in now, so uh, had to get in, get out, and uh, I didn't do my cardio yet, so I'm gonna do my cardio once I get off of work around three so I am going to go ahead and start editing the video uh, I'm gonna have some commentary on it today on the workout uh, and I'll explain each and every one and today was more of like a more of a field type meaning that the exercises I just kinda chose 
um, as I was going through the workouts and I have to go through the videos to see exactly what all I did. Uh, I actually ended with some shoulders because I finished kind of early. And uh, so when I go do my cardio, I think I'm gonna actually do some triceps as well, um, just cause I'll have some extra time to do it. So uh, today's a two a day. Oh, real quick, I forgot. So we'll do that uh, while I have time now. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm short on uh, supplements. So I'm gonna go ahead and order some on Amazon and I'm gonna show y'all what I am going to purchase. All right. All right, so I went ahead and uh, I placed everything on, uh, see if we can get some better lighting, there you go. Went ahead and placed everything in the cart, so let's go ahead and see what everything I got. Uh, so again, I'm ordering everything from BulkSupplements.com. Uh, everything is pure, it's clean, and it's the uh, each individual supplement, because uh, I like to make my own pre-workout, intro workout and I'll be adding an extra supplement to my pre-workout so we'll discuss that as we go through the list so here we are I am on amazon.com so the first one I ordered was uh, taurine and if you look at energy drinks the majority of the energy drinks have taurine uh, taurine is supposed to uh, increase energy levels and uh, what it's supposed to do, well, it's supposed to help increase your stamina. And when mixed with caffeine, it's supposed to help uh, increase your mental focus. So I'm going to go ahead and try the taurine, uh, see how it works out, see if I feel any difference. Just to try it and because, you know, the majority of uh, supplements like pre-workouts, energy drinks, uh, they have taurine in it. So just want to try it and it, it's fairly cheap. So everything that I'm ordering here uh, is going to last me about three to four months, maybe even more. So, um, you know, as we go along, we'll see how long it lasts. And everything came out to about a hundred dollars, so it's very cheap, very uh, affordable. So if you are on a budget, um, this may be the route for you to go. So let's go look at the other one. Uh, <clears throat> so again, I got the citrulline malate. Uh, that's for the pre-workout. And again, I have my pre-workout video that I had posted. I'll put the link in the description in case you want to know how to make your own pre-workout. I got the BCAAs, the branch chain amino acids, two to one one ratio, leucine, isoleucine, and L-leucine. Always make sure you want to try to get the two to one one ratio, and I explained it in in my other video. And then I got the uh, just a pure mic micronized uh, creatine monohydrate, and I think that's it. So that came out to. 90 up oh, let's say about 94 dollars so that's not bad you know for about three to four months that's about 30 dollars a month as opposed to uh you know a pre-workout which is about 40 to 50 dollars not including uh uh creatine so i mean some supplements have the creatine in it but Again, I like to make sure that I measure things out uh, to go with, uh, you know, my body and, and how the supplements reacts, how I react to the supplements. So try it out. Check it out. Uh, I will post up a description, too, of everything that I'm purchasing. Again, I'm not sponsored by uh, any of these companies, but hopefully in the future I will be so I can save some money. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I have some work to finish up. So you see I got my work computer. I got my computer. So while I'm working, I'm going to be uh, editing the video for today. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to post it up today just because I didn't have anything posted up this weekend for you all. So I'm trying to remain consistent. And <clears throat> I'm not really hungry right now. So I'm going to wait maybe about 45 minutes. I'm going to have my protein shake and then I'm going to have my meal number two. Uh, I don't include my, my protein shake as a supplement because I try to get all of my nutrients 
from actual whole foods so that's the best route to go and remember you know sometimes if you have a setback or, or a hiccup don't beat yourself up you know the past is in the past what you do is uh, you start fresh the next day and, and you keep at it. You know, the whole the whole goal is to you want to build these good habits, instill these good habits, these daily habits so that uh, it comes naturally. You know, it, it doesn't become a burden or it doesn't become, uh, you know, uh, an obligation that you feel that you have to do. Um, you want to do it because you enjoy it and because um, it's about the process. So, you know, nutrition is key. Uh, as they say, you know, you can't outwork a bad diet. That is true. So, uh, matter of fact, there was a guy and girl that I seen today at the gym. And, you know, this isn't um, to point them out or, or to speak negatively. But I think I've seen them in the gym for the past two years. And, you know, they work right hard in the gym. And they're, they're fairly consistent in the gym. But they're not losing any weight. And, you know, they, they, they have some weight to lose. Uh, but I suspect a lot of it has to do with their nutrition. Their nutrition is probably not on point. And that goes for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people, you know, they put in a lot of time in the in the gym. But what they fail to do is put focus outside of the gym, which is your nutrition. So you can actually lose fat while being on a clean diet as opposed to going to the gym you know the gym just helps speed up the process as well as when you add in your cardio so you know i hope you guys take that to heart and remember that you know nutrition is key what you put in your body is what the you know the end results is going to be so you know uh, and excuse my language but if you eat like shit you know nine times out of ten you're going to look like shit uh, but if you, you know, you eat clean, you eat good, you're going to look good and feel good. So that's what it's all about. You know, it's, it's not just about looking good. You know, we all want to look good. We all want to be slim uh, just because that's, you know, what society deems as what's, uh, uh, you know, beautiful. But what you want to do is uh, you want to be comfortable in your own skin and you want to be healthy, you know, mentally, physically and spiritually. You need to combine all three and for me that's that's what i feel you know is uh what makes me the happiest so i'm not the biggest you know i'm not the leanest uh but i enjoy the process i love fitness and i want to share you know my experiences uh, my ups and my downs because i'm not perfect myself and um you know i just want to relay that to you all and let you all know that <clears throat> you know um, I'm not a fitness model, so this, you know, being a fitness model, uh, their mentality is a little bit different because that's what they get paid to do. You know, they get paid to look good. So that's their nine to five. So uh, uh, it's always good to remember, you know, never compare yourself or, you know, your your situation or where you're currently at with anybody else because that's only going to lead to failure. It's going to lead to uh, having a, a negative mindset. And you don't want that. You know, always compare yourself to yourself. And because um, I used to do it, you know, I used to look at these, you know, these guys, these YouTubers that, that, that I follow. And, you know, I'd be like, dang, man, I want to be like that. I want to be like them. I want to be in the position that they're in. And I would get frustrated at, at, at you know, where I'm at in life. And, you know, all that does is just, you know, it, it, it leads to a negative mind state and, you know, it leaves you unmotivated. So I had to change the way that I think. Um, and that's the whole part of the reason why I love nutrition is because not only, you know, you are able to achieve the look, the body that you want, but the that the characteristics that goes behind being healthy or achieving the body that you want spills over into other aspects of your life you know you have to have discipline you have to be consistent perseverance um you know you have to over overcome your fears uh in order to become successful or achieve the goals that you want and you know that's that's the same thing that goes with you know trying to get a new job uh trying to start a business if you see back there hold on
you know, shh, shh, uh, uh, I'm trying to, there you go, I'm trying to start a business, www.proofsupply.com, go ahead and support the kid, because I am trying to be an entrepreneur, make it out there, and you know, I'm trying to be proof, pursue relentlessly, overcome obstacles fearlessly, to let y'all know that, you know, it is it is doable, it is achievable. Uh, you guys are seeing, you know, my journey, where I'm starting at. I don't have a lot of money. Uh, my network isn't the greatest, uh, but I'm working on it. So as long as you're working, you're failing forward, meaning that you're trying because in order to become successful, you have to fail. That's part of the process. And that's one of the things that people don't want to do is fail because it's it it sucks, you know. And um, you know, probably this past weekend, in the past couple of days, you know, I've, I've kind of been. Um, and I know I'm kind of going on a, on a rant right now, but hopefully you guys can you know take away from what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, I, I usually get you know I usually get down because you know I, I'm, I I put too much focus and emphasis on the numbers, meaning that I'm looking at my Instagram. I'm like, man, I only have two thousand followers. You know, on YouTube, I just started on. You know, I have I think like seventy eight, seventy nine subscribers. Man, you know, am I doing enough? Uh, I'm not there yet. And you just kind of get into like a just a bad negative you know mental state and you know I deal with that I deal with that on a daily basis but <clears throat> I always try to refocus my mind on, on the positives you know I'm, I'm grateful for where I'm at uh, I have a roof over my head I have a good job I have the availability to um, my job is flexible, so I'm able to still, you know, pursue the things that I want. So those are the things that I try to focus on. Because if you focus on the negative things, uh, ugh, it can it can eat you up inside. And, you know, I deal with it every day, you know, because I feel like, man, I'm putting in the work. How come I'm not doing it in this person is doing it and I don't feel they're working hard enough or they're not, you know, providing enough uh, content for the for the people and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And that's not good. That's not good at all because I wish everybody success. And, um, you know, all I can do and all you can do is just you just have to focus on yourself, set a plan. Uh, you have to be flexible with the plan and a little uh, acronym I came up with. I should get a patent. It's uh, called Cobra, C B R A. So, with any goal, uh, anything that you're trying to achieve, you have to conceive it. You know, it starts with an idea. From the idea, you have to believe it. You have to believe that you have the skills, the resources, and um, or not even the resources. You just have to have the mindset that within you that you have the capabilities of achieving it even if beginning you don't have the experience the knowledge the resources to do so um that's c and then b and then r is you have to revise it you know you have to establish a plan some type of plan and you have to be willing to revise it um you know especially like me for for the uh for you know my clothing company it's not this go around i'm trying to see if i can see how my brand is doing on its own <clears throat> meaning that are people going to buy it without me having to reach out to them and the answer right now is no and and the reality of the matter is it's a new company uh, it's not branded yet meaning that you know People really don't know what it's about. Um, they don't know the people behind it. And um, that those are the things that I have to work on. And it takes time, you know. Uh, you have to invest at least two to three years 
to start seeing progress you know we want you know nowadays because of the internet you know and social media we want instant gratification and we want things to happen you know the next day and that goes with weight loss you know people you know they may diet for three days and be like man how come i'm not losing weight well it takes time you know it takes you know eight to twelve weeks to see results so anyway and then you have a you know, the, 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 the end result is uh, uh, you achieve it, you know, by making the revisions and constantly learning and failing. And that's what I call failing forward. Uh, you know, you are able to achieve it. You know, you have to persevere and you have to maintain uh, consistency with your actions. And I know I just kind of went on a whole rant, but, you know, that's just something that I wanted to get off my chest because uh, I deal with it on a, on a daily basis. Uh, some people aren't meant to work a nine to five and not to say that anything's wrong with it, you know, because, you know, there may be jobs out there that people really like. But, you know, there's a research uh, or a poll that was taken and they say over 70 percent of people who have jobs. Uh, who are currently employed don't like what they're doing So that's food for thought and for me, you know, I do want to be a role model I, I want to be that person uh, who inspires others to pursue You know their passions and to show them through my journey that it is possible It's gonna be ups and downs. It's not gonna be easy and it's gonna take time but at the end of the day if you remain focused and you stick with it, um, you know, you are able to do the things that you want and the things that you love. And for me, that's what brings me happiness. You know, for me, I, I, I think I have a little better. Uh, for me, I have a great respect for time because that's one resource that you can never get back. And I don't want to be rich, you know, I want to be, I want to have a, you know, live comfortably to where I can do the things that I want. Uh, traveling is one of the things that I, I really want to do. I want to be able to travel the world and check out different gyms and different types of uh, physical activities that I can do. Um, just to show y'all, you know, um, that it can be done and, and, and see how, you know, different people, um, you know, do things differently. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, uh, so that's it. If you can see, I got a haircut finally this past weekend. Ugh. I'm just procrastinating now. Uh, so yeah, so stay with it, people. Stay grinding. Stay working. Stay focused. Subscribe to my channel. Leave them thumbs up. Leave comments. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy my chest workout. And again, I'm going to put the uh, sets, wraps, uh, some of the names of the exercises I, I, I don't know. I don't know like the, the right names of them. So I might have to kind of make them up as I go but you'll see what I'm talking about and uh, I'll leave commentary on them you know give some you know some tips and tricks and uh, if there's anything that you guys see that that you know I may be doing and that's another reason real quick um that's another reason why it's important or I feel that uh, it's good is to record your workouts uh, and the reason being is because you want to actually see your form because, uh, you know, there may be, you know, small tweaks go a long way. So, you know, just how you have your hand placement, um, you know, your elbow placement, um, how you're contracting, if you're bringing it down all the way, you know, these small tweaks really helps uh, in the long run, you know, helping keeping your, um, your joints healthy, uh, preventing uh, any types of injuries and help maximize your gains. So, yeah, I'll have the, everything in the description and then hopefully, you know, it's, it's helpful and uh, you guys enjoy it.